GG Hi everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play series of Submerged. I'm Chris from the Gallus Geeks. So, just to briefly recap last time, um, I'm playing as this character, a young girl called Miku, and her brother, Taku, over there, isn't very well. So our job is to seek out supply crates scattered around this submerged post-apocalyptic world, and uh, hopefully eventually heal him. We're also kind of being stalked throughout the ruins by what appears to be some kind of mutant human. And if you look at this whale over here, you'll see that the wildlife has taken on a kind of plant-like, lesion-covered, glowing demeanour. You'll also notice that this time the quality is vastly better because I had a little tinker around with uh, the OBS settings, so hopefully now it doesn't look like a PlayStation 1 reject and you can actually fully appreciate just how gorgeous the graphics are in this game. Okay, so last time we scouted out a couple of extra supply crates that we didn't actually manage to get to, so let's have a quick check of our map. So there's one due directly east of us, and another one northeast of that. So let's head due east, I think, because it's the closest one. And we'll see what that one's about. Jump in our little boat here. Uh, no. no, yes, um, my, my slight problem is that uh, the because I'm playing this on my TV in the living room, the compass is tiny. So I don't actually know which way is he's based on that. That's the um, telescope there, which you can use to spot things. We'll be using that later. But for now, I need to actually figure out if I'm pointed the right way, and I think I am. All right, uh, let's sneak around this side of the building. Yeah. Not a very good coxswain. Dutch Colony Coxon Museum. That appears to be a thing. It's a discarded boat. So that's how the telescope works, if you hadn't spotted from the last time. Well, let's salvage this. And it looks like another boost. Yeah, so... Yep, we've got a little boost button. I'll just demonstrate this here. Unfortunately, I haven't found any... Uh, trick ramps or anything, so uh, sadly the bolt acrobatics will need to wait. Are we anywhere near that? We just need to go a little bit further. Maybe it's going through these shallow seems like a good idea. Are those flamingos? Oh, they're pelicans. That's cool. So you get these little uh, cards for spotting wildlife in and around the city. So that's kind of cool. I'm just going to reduce the volume of my TV. Hopefully that's not... Moving through. Right. So the supply crate's up there somewhere. And we need to figure out. Oh, here's another landmark. The Princess and the Golem. It looks like an advert for a film. Called Epoch 2. Let's do a little circle around it. So yeah, there's a bunch of these different uh, kind of standout pieces. Last week we discovered a giant crane and um, look the wheel again. We discovered a giant crane and a horse statue, which they called something else because it appears that they've forgotten what horses actually are in this world of water. another thing jumping around here. Uh, I think we must have missed it. Okay, right. Let's get docked here. And we'll start claiming this building. Something Memorial Library. Rungholt Memorial Library. Never seen a library this size myself. Just show you one here.
there. Yeah. Let's jump up here. mentioned again last week, I just love the whole design of this game, from the After Humans aesthetic to the music, and you'll see here these little pictorial depictions of the story of the city. So let's have a look where that fits in. So let's just recap. Swirly thing, people and dog, people and buildings. Big gap. Death from the sea. And I'm willing to bet that stuff growing out of the sea. So we'll keep on snagging little bits of the story along the way as we pick up the crates. Now let's figure out how to get up. So there's more broken uh, masonry over here. Ah, that's okay. So drop down. Ourselves up. I do like the fact that uh, the wildlife is around you as well. So, although it's the apocalypse and you've had to leave your brother behind, you never really feel alone. Okay, so that brings us to that divide in there. And this. You know what? I'm going to take a gamble and jump on this drain pipe. And I think there might be some more story up here. None of these doors seem to open. Um, it's a shame, but while we're here, let's do a little bit of scouting. Good story. Ooh, I've got some trains. Yep, there we go. It's an interesting looking building, huh? More things that we don't know what they are. Those, that looks like Green Hill Zone. Huh. Okay. I'm sure we'll understand that at some point. You can see knights beginning to roll in now. There's a giant statue or something over there. Athena, maybe? back down and head towards that divide. work. 
quite eerie you now that the music's died down and it's just the sound of the wind. Uh, I missed some. Oh, there we go. Ledge. I do quite like how they've um, uh, deliberately, or not, uh, kind of taken a leaf out of uh, Mirror's Edge playbook, and they just highlight. Your oh, there's the there's the thing. Oh, creepy. Ah, uh, it's so much worse when it doesn't do anything. It's just watching you. Where did it go? Is it leaving the story of the city behind? Things appear to be growing from the sea. Or are these skyscrapers, maybe? Covered in plant life. Interesting. Right. Continue on our quest for crates. It is very creepy at night. There's no music, just the sound effects. You hear that beep. That means that the crate is somewhere nearby. Probably somewhere near this uh, torn shred of parachute. While I'm here, I'm just going to take the opportunity to do a little scouting. Or we may have already done so. Yeah, I thought we'd have a bit of a better vantage point here, but apparently not. Let's head around the side. Oh, climb. Ah, here we go. Here is the crate. Right. When we activate the crate, it will automatically take us back to Taku. So what I want to do is just have a little scout around and see if there's any more story to be had. Although we have had three bits of story, so that seems like a, a fair whack. So I'm not expecting it to be much around. Let's back out. At the very least, let's uh, have another scout around. Anything worthwhile up here? Nope. Just a fantastic vantage point. Ah, I did not realise you could scout while you were clinging on to uh, the side of a building. So that's another crate. I think that was the one that we spotted the last time. Ooh, wait, I see a blinky thing. Yep, over there. Unfortunately, we're too far away to properly mark it, so... We'll get that next time. And there's not an awful lot. At least the nice, soothing music is coming back. Another thing that I've already discovered. Anything else? Nope. Nope. Ah, no. I'm constantly being fooled by environmental winds. Still, no harm, no foul. Ah, that was the uh, crane that we were on last time. 
in Bird's Eye. I actually got an achievement for it. Apparently that is the highest point on the map. So, um, no doubt a lot of uh, spotting that we did there here in the chunk of the nearby area. Ah, no! Ah! What are you doing, Miku? Oh, well, that was... Um, yeah, we're going to have to fight our way back over there now. Thanks, Miku. Uh. Oh, well, learn my lesson. Don't venture anywhere near um, the marked, uh, uh, the zip lines marked by red flowers, because if you accidentally push into them, you will slide down them. Oh, but on the plus side, more story. Where does this fit in? Yeah, I'm not terribly sure what that means. I think we need more context. Alright, we maybe jump back up here. Actually, back up, I don't think we've actually been... Have we been to this part of the building before? I mean, it is part of the library building, so... Can we jump up? Yes, we can. Oh, yes. Yes, we can zip line across there. After I have a quick check and see if there's any more story on this side. Okay, that that's kind of cool. Um, that it allows you to get back easily to where you were before. After having plunged you into a strange and exciting and unusual new place. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get much more story out of this bit. So, zipline time. Yay. I really hope she's not using her... Yeah, she appears to be using just her hands. Apparently Miku has uh, hands of steel or something, because last, uh, last session um, she slid all the way down that massive crane uh, on the ladder. I'm amazed that she didn't burn up and re-entry. Alright, I think we're just about done here. Let's open this crate and see what's inside. Purified water. Well, water. Liquid of some kind. Let's go and pour it into Taku. There's more of them! Why are there more of them? Oh, that's... I mean, I'm, I'm assuming at this point they don't mean us any harm. <laughs> that could all change. Oh, her hands are changing. Is that because of her uh, contact with the city? Uh, the mother uh, drowned at sea, who's the coffin that you see here. And the father appears to have taken to the drink. Yeah, it's not the most uplifting story on Earth, but... Um, At least there is just little glimmers of optimism and hope. Oh dear, Miku's coughing. That can't be good. She needs something to feed Taku. Alright. Where's the nearest... Okay, southeast of us is the nearest... Uh, nearest supply crate. Let's head that away. I'm not really using the speed boost because there's no there's no real need um, because there's no no urgency, no environmental hazards. Um, 
no actual enemies apart from the, it's, they still creep me out horribly those swamp monster things but uh, I mean there, there is no real threat here other than the growing infection on Miku's uh, skin not run the dolphin over, shall we? There's a little pod of dolphins that I'm still not convinced I've actually got the, uh, the unlock for them. It's the last time I mistook uh, some flying fish for dolphins. Ah, there we go. See, that's all I wanted. Three creatures left to find. So I've got uh, plant dolphins, I've got plant flying fish, I've got a plant array, a plantican, and a plant whale. Oh, that's the two stallions um, thing. So this is the Vilois Hotel. Or Vildees. The font did. Right, so there's a drain pipe, or we can jump up these. We'll look at the drain pipe first. The one thing that I quite like was the um, combined Polynesian, South Asian, and Japanese aesthetic of uh, the main characters and their society. The feeling I'm getting from the city, however, is a bit weirder. It's like a a combination of all Western nations, almost. Um, there's a lot of uh, French influence um, in the and um, whatever this one is called. There's also a Kitej uh, municipal building we were at last time. Sounds vaguely um, Euro almost. And the library are just at uh, Somethingburg. Either German or American, perhaps. Oh, we can't uh, stand on these, so we've got to long. Oh, he's done in this bit. Crows! They don't appear to be beasts. This is decidedly sparse for a stone. Oh, oh, oh. I think we can drop it in this bit. Oh, that was terrible. Is there something down here? I'm not seeing a shiny. Oh, but there is something over there. Right. Uh, you want to drop it like that. Might just be me, but I'm sure the music is getting a bit more uh, urgent now. Buildings underwater. Oop, didn't want to do that.
So obviously there's been some sort of... It looks like a natural disaster. A storm or something. Those green waves still kind of freak me out, though. They look vaguely like uh, monsters. Uh, look before you leave, Miku. Anything over there? Look like it. Jump down here. I'm hoping there's more story down here. I like some of the story, me. No, I think this is just the opposite um, ledge from where we came in, really. Oop, wait, something around this corner, maybe? Hmm. Ah, oh, the sunrise. It burns. Oh, there's nothing over here. Let's keep on going around. Any other apocalyptic game, these gargoyles would like spring to life or something. Story. Right, so those those seem to be buildings emerging from the the sea. So I think, yeah, they must be coated with something. Uh, don't know what those squiggly spiral things are, though. We can get down here. Can we? Yes, we can. Right. Um, oh, that was the... Right, okay. So, that was the... Ah, uh, but I can't... Ah, I can't leap up there. But I can drop down. Right, let's get back to where we were. Again, there's a lot of really nice design elements that make uh, exploring the sunken city just a lot more convenient without robbing you of the experience of having to challenge yourself. So, all in all, uh, the, the designers of this game have done an excellent job, I feel. It never feels tedious, exploring. Because I don't feel I have to double back on myself everywhere just to see if I've missed a secret or not. I mean, I think you need to be careful. Uh, you can't just... Oops. You can't just barrel on through and expect to uh, be handed everything. Um, but neither are the secrets particularly, you know, devilishly well hidden. If you're taking your time to enjoy the story and pay attention, I think you'll be rewarded. Okay, I think we went that way last time, didn't we? Um, yep, yeah, we're gonna have to drop down a bit and along. I'm actually kind of consciously checking around corners and things for uh, one of the uh, mutant uh, humanoids to appear. But I suspect again that... Oh, there there you are, there you are. Duh. Plant man. Are you still here? That's kind of creepy though, isn't it? Just the way that's drawn. Rounds of more story. Cool. Another drawing of buildings underwater. So the floods have receded at some point to uh, to show off the tops of these skyscrapers.
building over there looks taller than the crane we climbed. Or maybe we're just not able to, uh, to get to it. Yeah. That's a shame. That'd be, that would have been cool to climb. Or maybe the achievements are lying to me. You ever thought about that? getting mistier. Whoa, lightning. It occurs to me that uh, we probably shouldn't be on top of a very tall tower, especially next to uh, large palm trees during the middle of a thunderstorm. Again, though, it, it doesn't feel threatening because of the marriage of the music and the landscape. Instead of being, you know, getting a sense of fear, I'm getting a sense of urgency that Miku needs to press on to get back to Taku before the storm gets too bad. I mean, for a game that has very few words, it tells its story remarkably well. Mystery flies. I don't know what they actually do. Or if they are just set dressing. I think I'm just too used to the worlds of Stalker and Daisy where flies usually mean corpses. I still feel like those gargoyles are just gonna jump me at any moment. Yeah, so definitely, um, whatever those green waves are seem to have uh, coated the buildings in something. Maybe it's uh, the spores that are affecting Miku. I'm gonna find out more. I must find out more. Here's a ledge. suffer from a fear of heights, you might want to look away about five seconds ago when I pointed the camera downwards. Isn't it nice to be five seconds behind the trend? Miku must have amazing arm strength. There's a supply crate. There's easy route down. Don't think we're gonna find anything more here, but oh, there's a wheel up there. Let's just skate around, shall we? Kind of want to visit that bridge. Maybe we'll have to go further afield when we've got no more leads. Uh, as it stands, do we have any other crates marked? Yeah, we've got uh, one in the northeast, so I think that's the one that we'll probably start with in the next session. Just have one more look without jumping off the edge. And I think this area is fairly well cleared, so 
We may have to venture further afield. Alright, let's crack open this crate. Food, glorious food. There's more of them there. It's also kind of cool and creepier that you can't see their faces. I just wonder what they look like. I'll be honest, Miku's not looking particularly good either. Miku is not happy that her dad is an alcoholic. And her dad is chasing her with a spear. Right. This is not a happy family story. Miku herself has clocked onto the terrifying nature of her predicament. I need something to keep insects away from Taku. Yes, I don't blame you. They look terrifying. Okay, so that was the second part of my submerged Let's Play. Hope you've enjoyed it so far, and you'll come back for more next time when we venture further out to get more supply crates and see just how far this uh, affliction progresses on Miku. Don't mind telling you, I'm genuinely worried about her now. Alright, thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time. I've been Chris from the Gals Geeks, and this has been Let's Play Submerged. Cheerio for now. GG.